Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at all the rares, their locations and drops inside the undead starting zone of Tiris Falglades. Lost Soul Okay, so our first rare is the Lost Soul. The Lost Soul can be either a level 6 or a level 7, and roams around just north of Stillwater Pond. Nothing really particularly special about this one, I think this rare is probably most well known as it's the one that a lot of players encounter, has a 100% chance to drop the Wispy Cloak, which is, you know, it's a cloak. Aside from that, nothing else special. All I would say is if you are going to do this at lower level, please do watch out for Wandering Zombies as you could accidentally pull one or two and end up dying. Farmer Soladin. Okay, so up next we have Farmer Soladin, who resides at Soladin's Farmstead. This area is just north as you leave the starting zone, and it's one of the first places you'll go to for quests. Farmer Soladin is typically inside of the barn, although I have known him to be inside of the little house outside, and he drops either Soladin's trousers at a 100% rate, or if you're lucky, you'll get the Farmer's shovel at a 35% drop chance. You should also watch out, because Farmer Soladin normally has one or two farmhands or farms around him. They all hit fairly hard on low level players, and if you aren't doing this at low level, you may not be able to do it solo, so I probably recommend taking a friend with you. Tormented Spirit. So up next we have the Tormented Spirit that roams around up near Agaman Mills. The Tormented Spirit is very similar to the Lost Soul in that they're both kind of ghostly ethereal forms. Obviously it's a little higher level but it's not really a challenge to fight at all. If you kill this you will be rewarded with the Ghostly Bracers which are pretty cool. They're not a green but they're, they're pretty cool nonetheless at a 100% drop chance. So just a quick tale of caution, at low level I actually tried to kill this back in the day and I remember getting two or three mobs pulled along with it and it was not a fun run back to my corpse so definitely do be careful, the creature does roam about so just make sure you're not going to pull anything extra. Muad Now here's an interesting rare you might not have seen before. Did you know that if you go north of Soladin's farm towards the rocks just off from the beach, there is a level 10 rare murloc called Muad. Now, I didn't know about this back in the day, and this has only just recently come to my attention. This guy is so well hidden, I'm not surprised if anyone has even heard of him before. Nevertheless, if you're up for a challenge, I would definitely recommend trying to kill this guy. He has a couple of adds, he has the ability to heal, and he also has the ability to cast Lightning Bolt. If you do manage to kill him, either by yourself or with a friend, he has a 25% chance to drop the Small Green Dagger, which is actually a unique weapon to him, and it is a very nice weapon actually for a low level player. On top of that he also has a chance to drop greens so you could also get an extra green like I did here. Bane Up next is Bane, a level 10 demon dog that roams around just south of Agaman Mills. Overall pretty disappointing, just an increased chance to drop greens and I'm really sorry hunters, Bane is a demon as well so you can't even tame him. I think in a later expansion he was made so he was tameable, but in classic WoW unfortunately you're out of luck. Resan the Needler up next we have Resin the Needler, a level 11 rare that roams around in the southwest corner of Tirisfal Glades. Hunters, you are in luck this time as Resin the Needler is in fact a beast and quite a cool looking one as well. I think it's the only vampiric bat in Tirisfal Glades that has this skin, so if you're looking for something unique, definitely try and tame this one. Unfortunately, only an increased chance to drop greens though, so no special unique loot. Felicent's Shade Up 
Up next is Felicent Shade, a fairly well-known level 12 rare mob that roams around Balneir Farmstead. If you do want to take this solo, I would definitely watch out because the arcane missiles can hit quite hard on low level players. I'm a mage and a gnome, so I wasn't getting hit by this. I did want to try and demo it, but it just wasn't, it just didn't seem to happen. What I would probably say with this rare is because the area is so popular and it only has a slightly increased chance to drop greens, if it's not there, I just wouldn't stick around and wait for it. It's not really that exciting in terms of loot and you can get punished quite hard as well if you accidentally pull one or two extra mobs. Deeb. Okay, so let's talk about another rare you might not be familiar with. This one is also a murloc called Deeb, and it's a level 12 that hangs around on the beach just north of Garen's Haunt. Deeb will typically have two or three adds with him, and primarily fires lightning bolts. The lightning bolts do a fair bit of damage, so I think you could probably do this solo if you maybe had some health potions or something like that, otherwise just take a friend with you. Deeb is pretty special in that he's the only rare in Tyrus Four Glaze that actually has a chance to drop a unique green item for him. So the green item is the Cranial Thumper. It has a very low drop chance at 15% so very lucky if you do manage to get it. And yeah overall it's a, it's a pretty good mace. Um, aside from that he also has a chance to drop greens as well. Here's a bit of bonus knowledge for you. If you carry on down the beach and head towards the great big turtle carcass you'll actually find a battered chest inside. Not a lot of players head this way, not a lot of players even know this battered chest is a thing. So if you go there, um, you're almost certain to be guaranteed some decent loot. Shreeskulk. So our final rare is Shreeskulk, a level 13 spider that hangs around in Venom Web Vale just south of Scarlet Monastery. Shreeskulk is actually the highest level rare for any starting zone in Classic WoW, which is uh, just a little bit of interesting information. Unfortunately, that status does not seem to have any loot associated with it. It looks like Blizzard completely forgot this rare even existed. It just has a very, very slightly increased chance to drop greens, and that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. That is all nine rares in Tears Fall Glades. Overall, the zone is pretty good. I like the fact that Blizzard put some effort into making some cool, unique items for the rares. It's a little disappointing that all of them are greens, but then again, you don't want everything to be a green because it makes them just that little bit less special. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments, and if you want more of these, please do subscribe to the channel.